Hey YouTubers, this is Alex in a completely different room of my house with a very special package from my good friend Bosnian Bill. I believe this is, uh, I believe this package will contain um, that SMG environmental lock and uh, he mentioned he might have a few other goodies. It also might be the legendary um, circulating or um, traveling box which would be extremely exciting. Um, so we'll find out, but uh, thanks for the locks, Bill. Um, so let's bust this open and see if I can humiliate myself attempting to open a couple of these things. So, since I've got my fancy label on the front, I'll bust it open from the bottom. So, styrofoam peanuts. My wife is going to love me. We have individually wrapped locks, which is good because I don't have to open them all right now. This appears to be an Avis Titalium, which I've been looking forward to trying out. Goodness. This is definitely the SMG lock with its chain. I don't know why you can see that, but that puppy. So I have to get Bill's table out and give that a try. Um, with the, the coatings on that. Um, let's see what we have here. Oh, something falling out. A Saber Euro cylinder with. Um, with Oh, with a key. Excellent. Maybe we'll, why don't we just try picking that? Yeah, we'll set that, set that right here. Get that in a second. And then what appears to be a, um, looks kind of like, a, oh, it's a best um, removable core. So that's cool because I can pick that twice, once to control, once to operating. Um, and a what appears to be a padlock because I can't read the label on it, but uh, kind of a neat looking one. I don't know if I've seen one of those before. Let's see what else we can do. Oh, Bill, this is awesome, man! I just wanted to. I only asked for the SMG, and I got way more than I asked for. So let's see if I can open the saber. I can't remember if Bill's picked it on camera or not, but uh, let's give that a go. So, got my trusty uh, trusty little pliers here. So there's the lock operating with the key. You can see it says Sabre on there. I've got the wide angle lens, so you may not be able to read it very well. There's the bidding on the key. So, a whole bunch of highs and two lows, so it doesn't look too bad, but being from Bill, you never know what's in there, so we'll see. Um, so, it looks like I'm going to be able to get away with top tension if I'm lucky. Um, Peterson fit it. Peterson. Peterson pry bar for the win. Yes, just barely fits. So... When I'm working on a new lock like this, particularly one that is very likely going to have security pins just, you know, based on the source, I tend to sort of look at which direction it wants to go. It wiggles. And this one wants to wiggle to the, um, to the right, my left and your right. So I'm going to start picking it in this direction. And then if that doesn't go well, um, actually I may not need my little pliers this time. Um, if that doesn't go well, I'll try the other direction. Um, and that's a nice big keyway, so I wonder if I could use one of my homebrews. Maybe show that off. So let's see how this goes. So go all the way in the back. Kind of get, oh, there's a false set already. Uh, do I felt like pin five. So we'll see who wants to play. 
Okay, well, the camera decided to cut out on me and I have left the pick exactly where it was when I left. So I'm going to continue fiddling with this thing. You won't see my fish before I'm leaving this old town. There ain't no other reason for hanging around today on the next train coming. I'll be on my way. Seems like I've been in this town too long. Let's see if I can get a better false out of this thing. With a fogata from the Wizzle Wuzzle set from our friends at... Ah! Look at that. Please tell me I was recording. Thank God. So, not SPP, but Bogota. So, interestingly, I think I was oversetting these pins because despite the fact that... I mean, these look like almost... Well, I guess those are not zero cuts. Those are pretty close. But, as always, the Bogota does a pretty good job of mimicking the spacing. If you just kind of wrap it in there, it works. So let's see if I can do it one more time, just so it's not a fluke. But just kind of rock it around in there. I think this is actually similar to the rocking technique that Bill likes to use in the sense that it kind of just nudges the pins that want to be nudged. And okay. There it is. So I think what was happening is I was oversetting the back pin. Let's see if we can do this one more time. So I come in very gently and just Barely nudge. And back pin. There. Okay. Happier now. Much happier, even though that is a rake. Now I've learned something from the rake, so let's see. Of course it helps if you keep your tensor. But let's see if what I learned from the rake will help me single pin pick it. So go straight to the back. No tension, just barely nudge. Barely nudge that guy. Okay, maybe more tension. Barely nudge that guy. There. That's him set. There it is. Single pin picked. That was actually a good teaching moment, I have to say. Because I screwed that lock up for a good 10, 15 minutes. Finally got desperate, used the rake, and when I paid attention to what the rake was telling me, it helped me single pin pick it with the pick that I originally started with, which my wife thinks looks like a woman. I don't know if you can see that, but um, I just like it because it's got, it's thin, thinned out, and it's got nice little places to put your fingers. So anyway, there's the saber lock from Bill, single pin picked. I'll try another one and publish that if I can. And just to show that I picked this all at once, I will um, use my little editing software and fast forward through my long fail. So there we are. So thanks, Bill, for the locks. I appreciate it. Um, I'm just tickled. Um, tickled by the generosity 
Um, and uh, so thanks for the box of bill, box of locks. I've got a few more here to give a go at, and uh, hopefully I'll have those on video soon. And I kept them in their little plastic wraps, so you can tell that I'm, I'm trying to pick those blind, if you will. Anyway, this is Alex. Thanks to Bill, Bo uh, Bosnia and Bill. Check out his feed if you haven't done so already. Have fun, and uh, keep it legal. Thanks so much.